Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on the inside liners uh, for our way. Okay, I had to. I had a little bit of a hiccup um, earlier. My memory was full, so I keep double checking to make sure that I'm still recording. So if you if you hear these little pauses, that's why. Okay, so the front and back are going to be the same, and all the patterns are from the 12 by 12. This is three, um, three inches tall, and let's see, I did six inches here. Okay, I already inked these. Let's see. I'm gonna swap these just because I like the London and I'd rather have it in front. Okay, so this needs to be trimmed down. We'll cut on this side because I've got a little bit of adhesive from the original packaging on this side. So I hope everybody's doing well. It, it turned out to be a super warm day here yesterday and today. Um, a little bit of unexpected. We went from the 60s to mid to high 80s pretty much overnight. So um, didn't really have any time to acclimate to the changes in weather. It just jumped. So uh, spring is here. <laughs> and if this is going to be our spring, we're going to have a very warm summer. <clears throat> All right. So the, I'm trimming this down just to fill the space so there's not so much overlap uh, over the red because I think the, the red accent is um, is really nice to have. Okay. So it's just going to overlap maybe an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth actually now that I've nudged it. Okay, just a little bit. Again, you can turn this into a pocket if you like. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep it simple. Oh, I need to turn this down, I think. <clears throat> Let's see. Already done. That's right. I trimmed it already. Okay. So next up is Reign of Grace. Reign of Grace, which is a new Chow Bella collection, and it's kind of it looks. Sounds like it too. It's going to be sort of a medieval period paper, um, but I haven't seen the whole. I haven't seen it in person. I've only seen it online. So, is that true, or have I done a reveal? Hmm, I can't remember anymore. Uh, but I'm looking forward to working with that paper. I think it's going to be pretty. Uh, I think we'll have like a you know princess kind of thing going on. It's easier to put a photo on the other side. Again, both um, patterns, all the patterns used on the inside are from the 12 by 12 pack.
Okay, now this is the pattern I chose for the back. And then I'm going to use this beautiful rice paper for the spine. So I'm going to start by putting the rice paper down. So I need to trim this down just a little bit to... Oh... thinking about what I'm doing at the moment. So this is the rice paper I'm using and I've trimmed off this piece here to go on the spine. I've got it upside down. It's actually going to go the, the other way like so. So I'm going to start by laying that in. And I'm going to use um, a PVA glue that is uh, that will stay wet a little bit longer if I can get it going, flowing. And so Mod Podge is another thing that you can use, which basically PVA glue is pretty much like a Mod Podge. It's a water-based uh, adhesive um, used for book binding and paper projects in general. It's a little messy. You want to have plenty, and then you want to use a brush to spread it evenly. And then after we do this, we will let the spine dry thoroughly before we finish with the cover. So you're going to... Um, up Apply your glue, apply your um, rice paper, let it dry thoroughly, and then you're going to seal it with uh, your PVA glue or your Mod Podge or any matte medium. If you're a painter, any kind of matte medium will work. Um, I'm using uh, this PVA glue, which will dry clear with um, uh, a fairly matte finish. But if you want, you can... If you're using a matte medium, you can choose, well, even in Mod Podge, you can choose high gloss, matte, you've got your choice of uh, textures. I just want to burnish it, make sure there's no pockets of air. <clears throat> And you're using a brush to spread the glue so that there's no bubble inside. Um, you don't want to see your squiggle lines through the paper. This also prevents bubbles. So a little bit of both. Okay. 
In the center. And let that dry. Then we'll coat it with um, some more glue to seal it. And then we'll finish the cover. So I'm going to set this aside for now. Let that dry. Hey everyone, it's Daphne. We are going to work on the cover. So this is from the 12 by 12 collection. And I used two packs, and this is the second pack. So I fussy cut this out. I'm going to layer it here. I'm going to grab some chipboard real quick and uh, add this. And then I'm going to, these were fussy cut from the corner, add this to the corners. So there'll be one on each side. I'm not sure which corners yet. We'll see. I'll cut this in half, I think. <clears throat> okay, something here. Okay, and then I've got these little triangles. I'm going to add a little one up here since it's so exposed. Mm -hmm. Just a second, sweetie. I think that's about it. Okay, so we're gonna pop that up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to offset it, torque it just a little bit um, so that you can see that it's layered. Now we need to work on these pieces. Okay, I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some chipboard on the back of these as well. Second, Nala. I gotta go see what my dog wants. So I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, just a second. Hey everyone, it's Daphne. We're back. Um, I'm still not sure what my dog wants, but <laughs> we're gonna finish this page so I can get this video up. I wanted this done earlier, but better late than never. Okay, so I've added, as you can see, various chipboard pieces to the back. Um, to elevate this to the same level as the uh, centerpiece here. Okay, now if I can remember, I think this is the one that's going to go on top. Like so. I'm just going to put it flush with the edge. Yeah, perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Flush with the edge. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Let's see. I think I've got some. Yep, I do. I've got some corners I can use here. And then this whole thing will go on top of the cover. Okay, and I've got another one. Perfect. Let that dry for a few minutes. 
It takes a little bit longer on the metal because uh, it doesn't have any tooth to it. So it does hold very well, but it does take longer to dry than paper on paper. Not a big surprise. There we go. Let's see, is there anything else that's kind of fun? Put a rose on a rose. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I care for that. Okay, so I've got some other um, elements that I want to add. Um, I really liked this little journaling card and this London brief. So I think I'm going to add a couple of things on the bottom or the top. Maybe I'll add these up here. And then I've got this trunk and these boots um, that I kind of like. So the trunk takes up quite a bit of space. It's a little bit too big, I think. So I do like the boots. Let's go back to our goodie box and see if there's something that scales a little bit better. Um, as far as, yeah, maybe we could do like that. The boots and the, um, I keep losing my train of thought, I'm sorry. Luggage, boots and luggage. There's another one that's even smaller. It's kind of a funny angle though. What do you think? I definitely want the boots to be on top. I'm not sure I like that. I think the angle's weird, at least for what I'm trying to do. Okay, here's another piece of luggage, smaller even. Smaller yet. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the purple. I do like this up here, so let's go ahead and get down. I want this to have uh, a curve in it. So I'm gonna kind of pinch it together while the glue dries. Okay, let's see what else do I have. really like that. All this is not coming together the way I want it to. So maybe it's like, maybe it's the boots. Maybe I'm just trying too hard to get the boots. There, that looks balanced. Okay, I'm pushing it partly behind the centerpiece. And the boots will go on top. Like so, and then we'll use friendship here. Or let's see if we have something we like better. Friendship could say London. I 
flowers are a little bit smaller. It's a little too much, I think. I like a little bit of the open white space, so. I'm going to add the friendship and then call it. I was hoping I had a chipboard for London. I probably do. I just can't seem to locate it. doesn't like sticking. The surface is kind of slick. All right, I'm going to give that a minute to dry. Collect my goodies. And then we're going to lay this on top of the album. Here we go. There we have it. Yay. Just pressing it all into place. Make sure it all gets dry. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. My dog came back to see me. Okay. I think I can get rid of some of these scraps. Okay. Next time we get together, it will be the walkthrough. That's it.